So finally, I did figure out how to create a correct 3D extrusion with text in Illustrator. And today I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, this was inspired from a Pinterest post and I managed to debunk it and understand how to create it. So let's check it out. Select the type tool, click. I'm going to type in Panther, scale it up and I'm going to choose a font. I'm going to go with Mango. And I'm going to go with Extra Bold Italic. A right click, create outlines and right click again on group. And I'm going to arrange the letters a little bit and let's recolor them. And from here, we're going to need to apply the 3D extrusion. So you might say you're going to select all the letters, go to 3D materials and click on extrude. And as you can see, it is going to create a mess. It is going to extrude everything one by one and put them in a default position. Now, of course, you can rearrange these manually, put next to each other. But the problem is that the lights and shadows won't be global anymore. It's going to apply the lights and shadows on the letters on its own. So what you need to do is select the letters and group them. So I'm going to select it, right click. And in this situation, you can see we don't have the group for some typefaces. You're going to need to select release compound path and I'm going to select the letter P. It has two shapes mainly. So I'm going to select both, go to the properties and click on minus front and do the same thing with the rest. There you go. And now I can select all of it, right click and group. And now I can go to 3D materials, go to extrude. I'm going to increase the depth, scroll down and we're going to modify the axis. I'm going to go some like this and the Z axis, I'm going to rotate it horizontally. I also going to activate the ray tracing to see how it's going to look. Now there's also an important step we're going to need to take, go to the lights and I'm going to select this here and look at this if I pull it to the left it is going to create this a really nice contrast with shadows all right so for the last step I got to go back to the object and activate the bevel and I'm going to change it from classic to around and I'm going to decrease the width somewhere on seven and this way it's going to create these nice edges around the letters and it's going to look more realistic also if you want to check out how to make your letters in super high resolution like this you can click on the upper right corner and watch that tutorial as well and mainly this was it thanks for watching